up by, I mean, this is Pac Sal. I come here, you know, this is Pac Sal. But then this is also Pac Sal. You know, the nature of Pac might be here. This is Pac Sal. Because I hop, then my hand, the, my open hand does something. When it's an open hand and Wing Chun, then it's a killing technique. Everything in Wing Chun is technically a killing technique. Pac Sal, Lop Sal, Dan Chi Sal. If it's Dar, that's a little bit more humane, the closed hand technique, or they, you know, you clench your hand and roll it up to make a fist. But if it's the closed hand technique, then it's a little bit more humane. It can still kill, but maybe just do damage. But if it's an open hand technique, that starts to design it to kill or disable. Because it's not like people recover from a chop to the throat. If you do decide to do that, you're doing damage you can't bring back. It's like a bullet leaving a gun. And you can't think about it afterwards. You know? But if you do a fist punch to the throat, may not leave as much damage or punch someone real hard to their chest or you go to the side of the face, pretty good. But if you punch straight to the mouth and you knock out their teeth, can't bring those back. Someone punches and you immediately go straight to a lethal technique of some type. And you're closer than a pock, you know? A pock is a little bit different. The bone, you're really closing, and there's a certain spring that happens here. And that just really, it's a very lethal, lethal technique, you know? Because you're used to doing this so much. So then something comes in, and suddenly you're, boom, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. Everything's finished. It's a very evil technique. And the turn sound. Just try it. So this has been a normal turn. And this one, time, but you want to strike with the same hand. Putting a barrier in front of him, it's going to uh, be a disincentive for him, right? If he wants to be very rough and aggressive, I just hold this here. He can come in, he can try to tackle whatever he's just walking into that fist. Or variation, this turns into a heel <coughs> style. But what else is this? Very good. Okay, so he throws a punch in. I feel there's a hook coming in. I'm a little bit late. I can throw this. This will block anything he throws. Okay. Why would I use the Wong Germ? He throws a punch in. From this position, 
my lapa position, that's very quick. Okay? Yeah, this is already there. Now I can make a fist, I can do build, whatever I want to do, but this really I just push it forward. just to do pak sound. Ancient exercise, ancient technique. It's very traditional to do that exercise to learn about fighting. Teaching you how to punch a lot, teaching you how to block the things in front of you a lot, makes sense. The first technique you learn for fighting. Someone charges you, you know, you block their hands if you have to, punch straight in. What are you gonna do, do a high kick? Do a backflip and then jump up and hit him with a spin kick and that's, what is that? No, if someone's fighting, you gotta rush right in and hit him, you know? If you grab them and you start wrestling, if they have friends, you're done. And wrestling takes a lot of energy. It's a great sport, but a wrestling technique in a street fight just drains your energy. Just like a high kick or any unnecessary kicking in a street fight drains your energy. Because the legs are pretty heavy. We train our legs a lot, we train our horse, we train our legs, but Really, why do we punch mostly? Why do we develop that? Because it's the most efficient technique. It's also the most effective, but it's the most efficient though. It's also the economy of motion as well as the conservation of your energy. The arms do that work for you. If you're going to control your elbows, even less energy gets used. Efficiency means greater speed even. So you have greater speed for your technique, more energy. I mean, that's what you need to fight, you know? Especially if you have to fight a lot, a number of people or someone really, really tough, and you have to hit them 50 times. If you're a Wing Chun guy and you're used to practicing a thousand punches as a drill, what's 50 punches to you? 